How are you guys doing? Today is Thursday, May 20th, 2021, out here in this quarantine. I'm James Sims, and for this episode of The Elite, I'm going to do an individual profile on Marcus Lattimore, the elite starting cornerback for the New Orleans Saints, who just most recently was arrested for a gun possession felony. I have no idea if he's going to, I have no idea exactly how that's going to play out. But if he ends up playing for the New Orleans Saints this year, I definitely think that he should be registered as an elite player for what he's been able to accomplish on and off the field, considering his limited amount of time playing in college and just being able to make it here, hit the ground running and be one of the best defensive backs in the NFL. If you're unfamiliar with him, uh, he sits at a he's a he's about a regular size cornerback, a six foot one ninety two, very rangy, very physical. He's very intelligent. He plays in a division with Julio Jones and uh, Mike Evans, like some very physical receivers, some very fast ones like Calvin Ridley, like it, they, 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 they kind of come all around and he's been able to stay consistent and he helped the Saints, at least from the defensive side of the ball, uh, especially when before he got there, Drew Brees and the Saints have really been missing that defensive presence, especially in the secondary. Ever since he's gotten there, he's been an all impact player. And just to give a little bit of background, He's from Cleveland, so originally being one of the best high school prospects in the state of Ohio, it would be natural that he will go on to play for Ohio State under Urban Meyer in, so initially he signed with Urban Meyer in 2014. He would take a redshirt season, and then for his redshirt freshman season, he would only play three seasons, he would only play three games because he was out with with, with some hamstring injuries. But he would only play four games in a 2015 season in which Ohio State would end up winning the Fiesta Bowl versus Notre Dame, finishing 4-4. Four and four. The first time in 2014, they did technically win the championship. So he is technically a college football playoff national champion. And the one year at Ohio State in which he was actually able to prove his skill was his redshirt sophomore season in which he played 13 games in 2016 for a Ohio State team that finished sixth in the rankings after losing in the college football semifinal to Clemson. They got housed 31 to nothing. That was when Deshaun Watson was balling out. Um, but in that season specifically, Marshawn Lattimore would finish with 30 tackles in those 30 games, or 30, 41 tackles in those 13 games with four picks. Uh, one of them being a pick six with nine passes defended. And he had proven that he was such a good prospect in college at Ohio State that he was take like that after only one year in college where in, in which he was a starter for Ohio State, he was taken with the 11th overall pick in the 2017 draft by the New Orleans Saints. I believe he might have been the first corner taken off the board. He actually was. He was the second DB to Jamal Adams, who was also an, a, a player with an elite profile on this list. Just to show how good he was, that he was he was the highest ranked corner after playing really only one year. So following, so once he would get drafted to the New Orleans Saints, he would be an impact, an instant impact player all the way, or right away. In his very first season, his age 21 season in 2017, he would make the Pro Bowl after starting 13 games for a New Orleans Saints team that finished with an 11-5 and record, winning the NFC South, making the playoffs for the first time since 2013, and winning the NFC South for the first time since 2011 when Drew Brees won the offensive player of the year. And also at the same time, this, this, so, so in the 13 games that he would play, he would start all of them. He would finish with five interceptions, the most interceptions even to date that he's been able to log in a season. He logged a pick six, the only pick six of his career thus far. He had a forced fumble and a fumble recovery as well as he finished with 52 total tackles in those 13 games. Doing the math, that's exactly four tackles a game. And following the end of the season, he would be named the Defensive Rookie of the Year and Alvin Kamara would be named the Offensive Rookie of the Year. Uh, And once they made the playoffs, they would end up beating the Panthers in the wild card and then they would end up losing in the divisional round at Minnesota. That was the... I'm not sure which Vikings catch that was. That might have been the Stephon Diggs one, but both of those, but that that actually did go on to happen twice. I'm not going to lie. I forget which one happened the first time, but they ended up losing on the very last play. 
Uh, it was a very tragic end to the season, and this is the season in which the Philadelphia Eagles went on to win the Super Bowl, just for a little bit more context. But following his first season in which he was able to establish himself as a pro bowler and the defensive rookie of the year, in his second year, his age 22 season, Marshawn Lattimore would start all 16 games of the season that he would play in. The only So far, that's the only time he's played all 16 games. He did this in a season where the Saints would finish 13-3, and three, uh, the best record that they had had since 2011 um, and in this season particularly he would not be named a pro bowler but he would go on to finish with more tackles than he did the year before he had 59 of them he had two picks uh, he had four forced fumbles which is the most forced fumbles he's ever had in a season he had three fumble recoveries which is the most fumble recoveries he had in a season he led the nfl in fumble recovery yards surprisingly at db but surprise but but sadly or but after missing the Pro Bowl, the Saints, he would play for the Saints in the playoffs. They would end up beating the Eagles, the defending champs, in the very first round, 20 to 14. But they would end up losing in overtime to in the NFC Championship to the Rams. Um, so that would knock them out. And of course, going in overtime, a lot of contentious calls. But regardless, the, the Rams would be the team that advanced. And in 2018, they were the team that made it out of the NFC to the Super Bowl, but they ended up losing to the Patriots. So going in, so that would be his second season. His third season in the NFL was his age 23 season in 2019, in which he started all 14 of the games that he played for a New Orleans Saints team that finished with a 13 and three record for the second year in a row. This was the year that Michael Thomas won the Offensive Player of the Year. But in his third season, after missing the Pro Bowl in the second season, he would make it in his third season. He finished with 57 tackles on the season. Uh, he would finish with an interception and about 14 passes defended. The, four, the third season in a row, he finished with double digit passes defensed. And he would help the New Orleans Saints be one of the best defenses in all of football. But once they made it to the playoffs, they would end up losing on the very last play. And they would, they would end up losing in overtime to the Vikings and yet another. This would be this would be a stunner at home. And that would be the no, it would be a really sad loss for them. But this would be the year the, the this year, the Niners made it out of the NFC and the Chiefs ended up winning the, the Super Bowl. But. This was the, but of course, through his first three seasons, he was already a two time Pro Bowler. And this would lead us into this most recent season in 2020, which is most definitely affected by COVID in the sense that there were no fans in the stands. But they were, but the NFL teams were still able to play all 16 of their games. And in 2020, Marshawn Lattimore would start all 14 of the games that he would play in a season where the New Orleans Saints finished with a 12 and 4 record, one less win than the previous season. Um, but in this season, Marshawn Lattimore would be named to the Pro Bowl for the third time, for the first third time in his four year career up until now. He finished with 62 tackles, the most tackles he's had in his career to date, uh, two tackles for losses. So far, career high. He had two interceptions. He finished with uh, like he finished with eleven passes defended. And after making the Pro Bowl for his third time in four seasons, the Saints would end up beating the Chicago Bears in a Nickelodeon play on on a playoff game on Nickelodeon. And then they would end up losing in the divisional round to the Buccaneers after the game was tied at twenty and in, in going into the fourth quarter. And right now, that kind of leads us to where we are with Marshawn Lattimore. But I guess if you want to go more recently, uh, he did get arrested in March for the possession of a loaded handgun that was believed to be stolen. And he was, re I think he was booked. Uh, I guess he was, I don't know if he was released for bond. I have no idea what his situation is now. That's, But uh, if he is able to come back for another season, we're looking at a 25 year old player who has already been who's already been a pro bowler three times in his first four seasons which is not a which is not an easy thing to do especially at the cornerback position especially when you're playing against some of the best wide receivers within your own division um, but the fact that he's been able to do so he's been able to uh, he's, he's been able to take on the challenge head on it shows that he's been having he's had this competitive edge that kind of came with him since Ohio State and probably before um, and hopefully as his career continues on, if the Saints will allow him to play, which they more than likely will, I think that for the 2021 season, for out of all out of all the players that play DB and play corner, Marshawn Lattimore's name should be mentioned among the elites. With that said, I want to thank everyone for listening to nine and a half, ten minutes of this piece. I hope all is well. 
Um, today is Thursday, May 20th, 2021 out here in this quarantine. I want to wish Marshawn Lattimore a happy 25th birthday. And once all of today's matchups and exhibitions are finished, I will come back with another episode for tomorrow uh, on, fr- or on Friday, May 21st, 2021. Um, with until then i want to thank everyone for listening to all 10 minutes of this piece i hope all is well and if you ever get a chance to watch marshawn Lattimore, he's wearing number 23 for the saints and he might be wearing it for the next pro bowl uh, thanks for listening to once again for listening to my piece and peace out i'll catch you tomorrow